Good afternoon and welcome to this um, slightly unusual middayish prayer for the day. Um, <clears throat> as if those who have been following these services have realised that being in church has presented some technical issues. Um, so what I'm trying to do today is just test to make sure everything works properly, um, but also it's a nice excuse to have some midday prayer. It was lovely to see um, those people who came into church today, um, and hopefully you'll see more of you on uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week between 10 and 12. Um, but we'll have a few moments of stillness, and then we will have our midday prayer. If I can encourage you to uh, join me um, in all the bold sections, um, as well as the uh, even verses for the uh, for the psalm as well. So you'll take the twos or fours, etc. Um, and uh, we shall we shall see how we get on. Um, please do give me your feedback. Uh, not so much on the size of the writing. I suspect it may be a touch small. Um, but whether you can hear me okay, whether the video flowed okay, I appreciate. I won't be moving as much, um, but hopefully um, it all looks and sounds okay. But if it doesn't, please do. Just let me know, because this is a bit of a tester. So I have a few minutes of stillness before we begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Make me know your ways, O oh Lord, and teach me your paths. And we'll say together, you, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. So we're going to say together Psalm 48. So I will say the, um, the odd verses if you'd like to join me on the even verses. We have waited on your kindness, O God. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the kingdom, in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great king. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth are assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in labor. As when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God. So your praises reaches to the end of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Then Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Talk about Zion and go around about her. Count all her towers, consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels. That you may tell those who come after that such is our, our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our, gui our, our guide for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have waited for your loving kindness, O God. The reading for week three from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, verse nine, sorry, chapter 9, verse 35 to the end. Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And so we go for the response. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So let us pray. Father, we give thanks for all you're doing in this world. 
we pray for those essential services which are carrying on, for those shops which are reopening, for the schools as they continue to educate. We pray for the churches and other places of worship as they open to private prayer. We pray for all those people who are unable to get out through shielding or through sickness or through any kind of infirmity. Lord, we pray for peace in this world, for an end to violence and an end to suffering, that all may be treated equally, that all may be treated on their merit. We pray for those who are persecuted for the colour of their skin, for their faith, for what they think or what they believe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, we pray for those who are finding themselves without work, for those who are struggling to make ends meet. We give thanks for the work of the food bank. We pray for shock. And we pray for all those who are helping those who are struggling. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We'll pray the collect for today. God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercy accept our prayers. And because, of, because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we could do no good thing without you. Grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God grant to the world justice, truth and peace. Amen. Well, thank you very much for joining me for uh, this midday-ish prayer. Um, please, I will review the video shortly, but if you have any comments or um, any, any hints, please do let me know as well. Um, there will be evening prayer at 5 p.m. as usual, um, and uh, the church will be closed uh, tomorrow and Friday, uh, so it could be uh, so it could be sanitised and deep cleaned, uh, ready for, for reopening on Monday. But until we see each other, then God bless, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of your day.